Your reputation precedes you. Wait till you crack and see what we do, you dweeb, you. Let's get to this morning, shall we? Unfortunately, I know what this morning was. And I, I know because of not only knowing this person personally, but also observing them since. Something bad happened. I don't know what it is. I, I'm not going to do the dozens with Nick. Like I said, my life is far better uh, with him never being in it. And so I, I'm not going to sit here and and do the dozens and and get into that. That's a that's a losing predicament for me. I think mentally, psychologically, I don't need to get mixed up in it. Um, it's where it, it you know. My relationship with Nick is where it needs to be in the past. So, like I said, I, I, it's, I don't harbor ill will. I don't harbor anger, animosity, hostility, anything like that. It's just done with. It's just over, and it's in its proper context. I think you guys have heard me talk about April as well on this show, saying that I really hope she gets out of that toxic situation. Not, not that it would have been good living with me. I think her and I were very bad for each other in retrospect. Um, but I've, I've said before that I hope she gets out of there, rebuilds her life with her, her parents in Litchfield, then you know, licks her wounds, heals, figures out what's going on up here, what caused her to get to this point, and then moves on down the road. And builds her own life. I really think she's capable of that. I think at her best, she can be a very smart, resilient woman. Um, I don't think she's at her best in that situation, unfortunately. But she's, she's in the proper context in my life, which is in the past, lessons learned. I like that. So as far as Nick coming into the chat today and then his subsequent uh, blow up on Twitter, where he said a lot of things that I don't think are helpful to him, um... What it looked like to me, and I saw other people say this, and I know they're kind of joking, but they're, they're really not wrong. I think I hurt this man. Um, I think I, you know, it's a weird thing to say, but I think I broke his heart, and I think he's still very upset about that. I think there's a, one thing people have noticed about him is that he hasn't really fully taken responsibility for anything he's done wrong. And I think a lot of that gets shifted onto me. I think he still very, very much uh, blames me. No, triple N, I didn't say that part. <laughs> but um, it just, to me, this morning struck me, at, and, and I'm not going to be mean about it. Other people have been mean about it. That's, that's for them. Uh, I, something bad must have happened, and he's spiraling a bit. He must have gotten some bad news or, or, or something bad happened in his life because you see him respond this way and you see him get very erratic when it's the ruling that went against him in the monograph case or, you know, bad news, you know, in uh, personal life, family life, uh, legal life, whatever. When bad things happen, a meltdown usually ensues. And um, I, I really, I know it sounds corny, but I, I hope he pulls out of it. There's a lot of people that depend on him. And I hope he can pull out of it. Uh, it did seem like a hurt man lashing out. And uh, again, I've hurt this man. Uh, I broke this man's heart. He obviously is still... I mean, all of his interactions online seem to center around me. And I don't think that's necessarily healthy. I don't think that's a good thing. But we're all on our own journey. And uh, I think what you saw out of Nick today was a, a a hurt guy. I think there's a lot. I hate to be this guy, but I, I think there's just a lot of stuff that probably goes back 35 years, maybe to like six, seven years old. You know, that's where a lot of our trauma is first established. Nick does have to have seem to have a little arrested development. Maybe there's some things that need to be exercised, but um, he was not well today. And I hope he gets well, because like I said, there's people that depend on him. And um, being in your, uh, pushing your mid-40s and still doing things like this is never going to be a good place for you to be. Physically, emotionally, spiritually, whatever. Um, so yeah, what, whatever went wrong for him today or yesterday or over the weekend or whatever, 
I, I, I hope he finds some kind of peace from it. And as far as today goes, yeah, that was heartbreak. That was, um, that was a lot of anger and hostility coming out today. I, it was a lot of lashing out. And, uh, I'm not going to play the, you know, the, you know, wonder what it is game. Like I said, my life is better off with that in the past. But uh, look, the guy's got a lot on his plate right now. The guy's going through a lot of shit. And uh, he's also doing it while not coming clean that he ever did anything wrong or bad that he should be ashamed of. And you're never going to fully grow from that if you don't do that. But that's my take on what happened this morning. Chevrolet JB has another idea. He says, you touch another man's dick, it's forever, uh, it's forever, Aaron. Gay twister in all caps. Oh, my God. We're never, we're never breaking gay twister, are we? I don't think we ever are. 225 is the number today. MN Vikings with 199 says, what's the new Nick news? Have a good night. There is none. He was in the chat this morning, and he was having a hard time, and it really did seem like he was lashing out. And, uh, again, uh, people in the chat saying jilted lover. I mean, it seems that way, but I'm not, again, I'm not saying that to be insulting. I'm saying that because that's how it reads. That's how it looks to me. And then he's making excuses for a guy who says awful things about people's children. That's not exactly a good look as a, as a father, and especially the things that he's charged with and the tests that we've seen that have come out and all that stuff. I don't know if that's necessarily a, a good judgment call as a parent. Buffalo Jockey with a dollar says, Aaron has hurt people, hurt people written on his wall next to live, laugh, love, basic white bitch, new boot goof. And thank you. Thank you, Buffalo Jockey. Always nice to see you. Okay, let's go ahead and get the show started. Sh start, start. <laughs> Maybe I am heartbroken. Maybe I am. I, look, I know people want me to insult people, and you heard my thing about Nick today. Maybe I'm just being nice and magnanimous today, and maybe I'm just healing, and it's terrible for Kay. the show. Maybe I'm just doing well psychologically. I've got the love of a beautiful woman. I've got a family. I've got uh, friends. Then I've got Matt. No, uh, <laughs> kidding. But uh, may maybe I just, um, plus, well, I will say there's one thing I forgot to say about the Nick thing that I will address. Nick is very clearly upset with something that's going on in his life, and uh -huh. I have to pay for it. Nick is trying, let me, let me say this. Nick is clearly trying to goad me into saying something, harming myself, Doing something that he thinks will be like a, oh, oh. He's never been the smartest guy in the world. What? And he's never been a great tactician. You know, he's not Hannibal. But he's a lawyer. He's, no, <laughs> he's not Hannibal. Yet when he shows up, he's not Hannibal for God's sake. You know, uh -huh. so um, he, he's, he's very clearly lashing out. And he's like, maybe Aaron will follow me and he'll say something. Matt. I'm what? not heartbroken. No. I'm not a jilted <laughs> lover. I don't need to say anything. I just, um, you're clearly going through mm. it right now. Figure your shit out, man. Hit the like button. And be like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fuck you, Doom. Goodbye. I'll do it like that show. Goodbye. Good, good, yeah. Shut up, Doom. Doom, cool it. For the love of God. Come on. Doom, you're gone again. That's it. I'm so sick of you anyway.